Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly and I am going to be showing you the books that I had selected for the Picture This Readathon, which takes place the whole month of April. I didn't do a TBR for this because, you know, it's kind of like, okay, um, I've read them before. <laughs> Because I've read so many picture books, but I just wanted to experience them again. And um, so now I'm going to talk about the books that I chose. This is a readathon that is hosted by Jack from Spreadbook Joy and Shelly from Shelly Swearingen and two great channels. Please check them out. Let's get going. I love the prompts and the books that I chose for this. So the first prompt, and this was these first three are Shelly's prompts, was Silly. And I'm gonna go with Monsters Love Underpants for that. <laughs> and it is such a cute book. It's hilarious. Um, we have some monsters in various forms of underpants and have kids that just like to giggle, like most kids, especially little boys, um, that like monsters and silly things like that, then I think you will enjoy it. It is by Claire Friedman and Ben Court. The next prompt is funny. And this book, I chose this book because every single time we have read this book, it's just dropped to the floor giggles from the kids. And it's called, I Say You, Ooh, You Say Aw. And it's by John Kane. And the book doesn't have, you know, complicated illustrations or words. You know, a lot of the pages are like this, but it prompts them, like when you hear ooh and ah, to um, make sounds or do movements. And we have a donkey. And it's just funny. And just by the end of it, we have the donkey with, I'm, I'm noticing a theme here with its underpants on its head. So I don't know if you've had a problem with that with your child, <laughs> putting underpants on their heads. Maybe you don't take my book recommendations today. All right, so the next prompt of Shelly's was pink and I could not choose between my daughter's two favorite picture books from when she's little. She still loves these, even though she just turned 13. And of course, none other than Pink Alicious by Victoria Kahn and Elizabeth Kahn. And oh my goodness, so Pink Alicious, she, um, she had too many pink cupcakes and she has turned pink. And um, here's a picture of Pink Alicious. And we went through a period in time where my daughter just loved all the Pink Alicious books. We um, we read them all, and she was even um, Pink Alicious for Halloween one year when I think she was like six or seven. And then in the same vein is Fancy Nancy, and this just is so my daughter. And it's um, written by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Price Glasser, and. Nancy is just such a fancy girl. She just, she's just fancy and it just fits my daughter so much. My daughter gets her accessories on to walk the dog down the street. So she always is really well put together and fancy and I just love it. That's who she is. So the books really fit that very well. All right, now we're gonna be moving on to Jack's prompts. And the first one of hers is Hope. And I'm gonna go with a very classic book. And this is Corduroy. And it's by Don Freeman. And Corduroy is, of course, this bear that's in a department store. And this precious little girl wants to take him home, but Mom says we can't afford to buy him today. And he has this hope that he could have a home with the girl left. And then um, she comes back for him and, she t and she's got her money and she comes back for him and she just loves him and she takes him home. And it's just so hopeful for home for him and just a precious story. And I think my daughter got that for her first birthday and so it's been through three kids now. She's a little bear that she got. And all three of my kids just loved 
this book, Boy, Boys and Girls. So I think it's a versatile one. It's a classic that you can't go wrong with. All right, the next prompt is yellow. And I don't know, again, talk about books that make children dissolve in laughter, fall on the floor laughing. Nibbles, The Book Monster. And this is by Emma Yarlett. And he is, like it says, he's a yellow little monster. And he likes to eat books. And he goes through the story and he like ends up in Goldilocks and the Three Bears story and he keeps messing up these fairy tales. When he gets to Jack and the Bean <laughs> Beanstalk, there's just this one section of the book that has my children just dying with laughter every single time. It's just it's just such a cute little book and um it's good for book loving kids too because it's like books within books. So I love that. So that goes with the yellow prompt. And then the last prompt of Jack's was movement. And for this one, I'm going with the cur curious case of the missing mammoth. And this is by Carl James Mountford. So in this one, you have a little boy who has like a museum across the street from him and it's the middle of the night. And he, there's some commotion and he goes across the street and there is a mammoth there and his little brother mammoth is missing. So you have some really cool um, learning opportunities here because they talk about different things that kids see in the museum, but they move throughout the whole entire museum. There's some lifting of the flaps just to kind of keep them engaged. And they move through the entire museum through the picture book. And you get all this great educational content while you are reading it with your kid, plus the fun and the excitement of the story. So those are some picture books that I love. I hope that you have done this readathon. Whether you have children or not, picture books are so healing to the soul and they're so much fun. I will still continue to read picture books after my kids are grown. They're in the age where they would technically be outgrowing it. My youngest is eight, my oldest is 13, but we still read picture books. And I know a homeschool family that um, their, their son is a senior this year. Actually, they have twins that are seniors this year. So they are going back through some of the picture books that their kids love when they were little, which I think is so cute and just a fun way to make memories before their kids go off to college or do whatever they're going to do with careers. So picture books are a blessing and we should embrace them. As always, read a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.